All right, <clears throat> I wanted to show <clears throat> how I uh, loosened up the car ports a little bit um, on my Retron 5. Uh, it's kind of, uh, now I wanted to point out that I don't think you should have to do this, but I like the Retron 5 and I wanted to use it and I don't want to have to, I mean the, the car ports loosen up with time but not enough and I, I wanted to be able to have it, have the carts go in and come out easily and uh, Basically, all I did was actually used, where is it, Virtual Racing. It's a big, big car. I don't know where I put it. But for now, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you. Basically took some WD-40 on a Q-tip and kind of rubbed it into the pins and, and around the sides of this. Went over to the Retron 5, focus. And then basically just took it with the WD-40. Popped it in, took it out a few times, and it loosened up with that, and then just basically cleaned the cart with alcohol, with the uh, Q-tips. So, now, I did that with all the ports except for the Famicom, because I don't have any Famicom games, or whatever. So basically, pop it in, pull it out. And it's a lot easier now. Um, for comparison, I have the original Sega Genesis for this. Um, I like to. All right. So this is a lot easier though. It's also a lot older. So I pull it out with two fingers. And now I can do that with this. Before, when I first got it, I had to like yank the shit out of it to get it out. But um, it's a lot, a lot easier to take out now. Uh, for another comparison, I also have the Retron 3. Um, not my favorite clone console. Uh, it's a little harder to take out. Um, another thing was, uh, you know, like I said, I did all of them, so, show some other games. So I got Super Nintendo and NES, um, let's see if that's on camera, yes. Still makes those fun crunching noises. Can't do anything about that, but it's very easy. Super Nintendo is really never that much of an issue here. So that's very easy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really it. I don't have anything to put in here. And the front front ones I don't bother with because those are really easy to, to put in and pull out. Um, but for another comparison, with the Retron 3 I don't have an actual... No, I have an, I have an NES. But it's the toaster, which works a little bit differently, but for something that loads in the top, I don't have a top loading NES. Here's the NES for comparison. <laughs> so I thought this was <laughs> Well that was kind of a fake noise, but whatever. <laughs> no, but it is a lot harder. That was just that was a fake bit of a noise. But it is definitely harder. Um, as far as Super Nintendo goes with this, this is fine with Super Nintendo. Um, it's actually probably, I'd have to say it's easier than the Retron uh, 5. I also don't have a Super Nintendo for comparison. That's just easy. Um, and uh, let's see. Really easy. Um, now, I'm just going to do one more, which is the 32X. I'm going to pop it in here so that it, it looks, so that it makes a little more sense because it, that's where it would be. The controller out of the way. No, you can't play 32X games on this, sorry. Um, where's the, <clears throat> get a six pack here. <clears throat> Taller cartridges <clears throat> are uh, easier to take out too. There's more to grab onto. 
God damn. That's very easy to take out. Let me see something. It says loading, loading, loading. Oh, actually, it loads Sega Genesis games perfectly through the, uh, through that. People were saying you needed power through the 32X, but you don't, apparently. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If you wanted to, you could actually put the 32X on top and pop your games in. <laughs> and then it would load through the 32X. And, uh, yeah, so, if you were that worried about the cart ports... <laughs> You could use the 32X to put Sega Genesis games in. Um, other than that, I don't know. Oh, I have that uh, that fast boot patch. I wonder if it works with the 30. Oh yeah, it works with the 32X in there with the fast boot patch thing. Okay, well that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Of course you can't. It won't load 32X games. And for the hell of it, I just have to try even though I know it doesn't work. <clears throat> So here we have Star Wars Arcade. <laughs> Just for the friggin' hell of it. Let's see what happens. It says loading. Loading, loading, loading. Unknown cartridge. Like, what are you putting in here? Now let's just hit play. I wonder what happens if I hit play. This cartridge was not rec recognized by the Retron 5. Blah, 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 blah. Attempt to play the game anyways. You get a black screen. Very sexy. Safe state. Anyways, turn them in. Now I'm sure they could add a, an emulator for the 32X in an update if they wanted to because it's just emulation so you wouldn't need all those cables and stuff that you normally need in the 32X or whatever. But I wonder how well the 32X, if the 32X card no, it doesn't. It's too big for the port. <laughs> but yeah, you can use the 32X as a pass-through if you have a cart that's too big for the Sega Genesis. Um, so yeah, there's that. Cool. Anyways, that was the video just showing uh, how I loosened up the cart ports a bit. And uh, yeah, so there it is.